Now, Woods is a completely and utterly slept on map for loot. Let's give you the ultimate guide for the best stress-free loot spots. Now, there are multiple spawns on this map, uh, as shown in the map on the top right-hand corner. I have spawned near Medcamp. Now, I'm not going anywhere near that. But there is also, as you can see, an abundance of stashes that you can hit up as you are moving through your raids. Picking up and looting in a rough loop as you're hitting up the main areas for you to loot. A lot of them are very close together, and a lot of them are very close to the points of interest around the map. I will leave a link in bio for the maps that I'm using in this video. Now, the Blood of War rock, you need to go and mark for Ragman. However, it does spawn some weapons boxes. And as we move down to the hill, to the crash site, there is also a stash that people seem to forget exists and it's always full when I loot it even on scav runs so it's well worth learning where some of the stash spots are on your preferred loot run now crash site where the crash plane is near Jaeger's letter in the divot in the ground where the planes crashed you can find meds and high tier loot spawns and also in the front of the plane, on the stairs and in the cabin, it is well worth checking out because you can also get food items and high tier loot spawns such as gold chains, etc. Another place that's well worth checking out is ZB016. It is an extract, however, it's not always up. It will be shown whether or not if it is able to, you are able to extract if the green smoke's up. But all over the floor, you can get tech spawns like water filters, and there are many weapons boxes in here that you can get attachments or various other items, ammunition, etc., etc. If the smoke's not up, well worth checking it out. People want to come down here to extract. Well worth having a bit of a loot up as you go past it. I wouldn't hit it every time, but just if you're passing, it's worth a look. The best way I find to loot up a map like Woods is work in a, in a loop, depending on where you spawn, hit up a few of the areas, and then get out don't get too greedy that's when you run into other players now an awful lot of these spots depending on the time in the raid or if you're doing it at night time are fairly quiet or they are in a big enough area where you can you can get out another good extract to check out is the northern extract it has weapons boxes there and a stash in the corner Chances are that if PMC is extracted there, they may well not have looted these because the amount of time that you spend in that extract is only six seconds, ten seconds rather, so well worth checking out. Now into old sawmill. Lots of weapon boxes, like the one near the striker and in the smaller building, and in the larger building. Tech spawns, toolboxes, well worth finding items for your barter trades. Also, make sure you're checking the mattresses, because they do have a chance of spawning high tier loot items on like gold chains.
uh, in the bigger warehouse. Make sure you're checking all of the shelves because they do spawn tech items. You have a technical supply crate up the stairs. You've got weapons boxes. You've got a ration supply crate. Well worth picking up stuff like sugar, especially at this time of white because sugar is very expensive for the moonshine craft. Also, make sure you're checking the tables because weapon parts do also spawn on the weapons tables on both of the raised areas. Also, make sure that you can actually walk up a flight of stairs correctly, unlike me. A duffel bag usually spawns in the back of this car and is also well worth checking the front seat because you can get food items but also ammo, um, ammo spawns on that chair. Moving on to village, you got at the top of village, you've got a couple of stashes. And on these concrete areas here, you can find other tech spawns like keck tape. Weapons box near this striker. This little porter cabin as well. Check the mattress because you can spawn high tier items. It's usually got a duffel bag and a toolbox in and some loose food items as well. Now, at the back of village, you've got this little pond. Make sure you are checking underneath this little jetty thing. You can get ammo spawns, high tier items. I only found out about this recently, and I am an unashamed woods main. And then we'll start looking through the houses. So again, on all of these flat areas, you can get tech spawns. You've got a couple of toolboxes in this shed. Usually spawn on one of those tables. And then you've got a large toolbox here. A smaller toolbox and you get loose spawns on the tables, including ammunition, uh, some food items and other text forms. Now within the house itself, in the kitchen you've obviously got food items. Make sure you're checking the table because you can get sugar spawns and stuff that clip into the kind of textures on top of that table check the couch as well for money and for ammunition and then you usually have a duffel bag in here and in the box next to the duffel bag is a tech spawn ammunition and food items on this table and then make sure you're checking under this bed because there is a high tier loot spawn i've found gold chains i found veritas picks gp coins etc up there you can on that little cabinet, get money spawning on the top shelf, and then you usually have one, maybe two duffel bags in this top area. Again, check the mattress, and then that's where the other duffel bag can spawn. And in next to that fridge, an AK-102 can spawn. Onto the next house. You have a grenade box there. Check that. There's some other loose spawns next to it. Again, make sure you're checking the flat table areas and on top of those boxes. You get food spawns in this area in the kitchen. And then you get loose items spawning on this bed, ammunition, tech spawns, etc. A duffel bag. And then the other part of the room 
you have another duffel bag, a grenade box, and you can get some loose spawns as well. Toolbox sometimes spawns under this table, it's not 100% spawn. And in the shed at the back, ammunition spawns, food spawns, tech spawns. Make sure to check in all of the flat surfaces because loose bits and pieces can spawn all over the place. Again, that toolbox is usually there. Now onto the last house. Sometimes stuff can spawn in the back of that car that I haven't seen in a while. You get loose tech spawns in, on those shelves. Sometimes there's a toolbox spawns. Food and money can spawn on the ironing board. And then you can get money spawn in any of these shelves next to the TV and food spawns. And it's the same on that table. Upstairs. Check the mattresses for high tier spawns. You can also get a couple of duffel bags spawn up here, not just the one. But I found stuff like gold chains and what have you just loose on the bed. And in the back pig pen, you can get some ammo in this trough. Weapons box and then you can get some tall items at the back. Moving on to probably the most slept on area of woods, Sunken Village. Now in all of these houses, and all of the corners of these houses on the mattresses, in that bucket on the left hand corner you can get high tier spawns. A lot of these are marked on the map, but a lot of them aren't, so it is definitely worth checking all of these houses. In this house here, Checking the sink, I found high tier items in there. You can get med spawns on this table. Now, usually you can get items spawning on that bench, a duffel bag on this table, and then check in this tent. So all in that area around that green tarp, you can get high tier loot items. Now the next house along, all in this area next to the stash, are gold spawns. Just loose on the floor, and then obviously you've got this stash. and then into the church. Make sure you're checking in the boat for gold spawns. And all up in the steeple of the church, you can get gold spawns as well. You've found lions, horses, gold chains, bitcoins up there before. Well worth checking. Can get some loose items and loose gold spawns at Mark Circle. In this house, in this left-hand corner, all through the bushes in the middle and in the back left-hand corner, well worth checking for gold spawns. And also in the boat here are gold spawns. Next house, again, checking in the corners. All over the mattresses, but you also have tall boxes. You have a loose ammo spawn as well in all of the open boxes.
And then in the boathouse, within the boat itself, there are high-tier loot spawns and tech spawns. There's usually a toolbox on top of these barrels here. And then a duffel bag on the bench. Now moving on to containers. Now be warned that the goons can spawn up here. But you have got weapon boxes, food spawns, high tier loot spawns. Armor spawns are usually only a packer or a 3M armor within the van. But I found gold chains on the mattresses in the porter cabin over here. As well as there's a grenade box usually and sometimes a weapons box spawns in here as well. Make sure you're checking these tables and the mattresses. There's a jacket on the van usually too. Ration supply crate. And there's a duffel bag. And again, check the mattresses for the high tier loot spawns. And make sure you check that table because I found moonshine just loose on that table before. Next point scav bunker. This is a scav extract, so definitely worth looting up if you are on a scav runner. You have this as your extract. But you've got lots of weapon boxes, duffel bags. And then downstairs in the bunker itself, you've got high tier loot spawns, tech spawns, food spawns. The duffel bag usually next to that chair as well. Check all of the racking because you can get high, uh, tech spawns in those. Make sure you're checking the sofa for gold spawns and the mattresses. There's a jacket in that corner. And then check the mattresses in the right hand corner as well. Sniper Rock. So as you head up to Sniper Rock, there are various stashes, but also before you do the drop down to get onto Sniper Rock itself, there's usually a technical supply crate and a toolbox. Now, slide down this bit nice and slowly. Uh, if you have come in and checked out one of my streams, chances are you'll have seen me slide down this, break both of my legs repeatedly. Check the mattress and the bench at the back of a little seat for gold spawns. There's usually a tall box and sometimes some food spawns there as well. Then hug in the right hand wall. Oh, also, check down uh, down at the old Red Rebel Extract because you can get some weapon boxes down there. You have to mark that for Blood of War Part 2 as well. Now, on these weapon boxes, sometimes you do get a weapon box that you can loot, but there's loose ammo spawns. A technical supply crate. And then down in the bunker, you have a weapons box. And in the back of the bunker you have gold spawns obviously when i recorded this none had spawned thank you battlestate games for making me look like an idiot and then last but not least one place to check out is scope shack so towards the outskirts extract you usually sometimes have a dead scav there well worth looting and then you get a variety of weapon attachments inside Scope Shack, food spawns outside. In that gun rack, you can get AKS 74U spawning, weapon box there, and then this is where people miss out on stuff. No one loots those areas. No one loots that loose ammo, and you can find some really good stuff. I really do hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll leave a link to the maps for woods in the description. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.